Peepla the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as Peepla7 on Twitter and YouTube, Peepla elsewhere on the Internet. And my blog is located at purplebutterfly-peepla.blogspot.com. And my soaps can be purchased at peepla.etsy.com. And I'm going to forever refer to today, December 30th, as Blessing Day for the simple fact that when I got to church, Sister Betty Sams and Reverend Chuck Sams presented me with this. And you can smell the leather on this. It's not only a King James Bible, and I've already documented that they gave it to me on this day, but it has a concordance. The words of Christ are in red, and the P.S. the resistance. Look how big the writing is. I can actually, whoops, let's not wrinkle the pages. I can actually read that from a sitting position without having to hold it up close or hold it back further. The writing is a per- and it won't do that shrink on me. I don't even need my reading glasses to use that Bible. <laughs> Ultimate Christmas present. And then my mom goes, oh, well, hmm. I'm going, what? She goes, well, I had a present for you, too. And I'm like, well, give. What is it? And she said, well, you know the Bible they gave me at your father's funeral? I said, yeah. She goes, that's going to be my family Bible from now on. So you get to keep the family Bible. I go, the one with the praying hands? She goes, "Uh uh-huh. You might have to duct tape it or something. I went, (laughs) no problem. I'm going to show you that. This is the Bible I've been using at home in the absence of mine where the writing was too small. Ta-da. When I open this book up, it's big. And I do mean it's big. And the writing is big. <clears throat> but there's no way you could read this Bible and hold it at the same time without parts on your body starting to hurt, like your shoulders, your arms, right at your wrists. So for so on. that Bible is made to be used on a table, and you, you know, basically it's a tome. So you put it on a table, you turn the pages while you're at the table, while you have a notepad and an ink pen, and do your study notes, so forth and so on, because you can't pick that Bible up and carry it around with you, and on the fly open it up, read something, go, okay, it's located right here, boom, and take it with you. That Bible weighs 32 pounds. This Bible, I think, might weigh 32 ounces, <laughs> you know, if that much. And guess what else decided to show up the moment the found out was replaced? The microphone that got ghost, <laughs> which can now stay ghost. But I'm going to call this a day of blessings because this is a day I have been blessed with not one, but two Bibles. <laughs> Life doesn't get better than that unless Jesus himself came back to say, hey, how you doing? Come with me. In the meantime, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to go take turns reading that one and then that one and then that one and then that one. And y'all stay blessed and stay tuned. Bye now.